What I want to do in this video is think about the idea of a fraction. And for the sake of, of this video, as we just learn what a fraction is, you can really think of it as a part of a whole. Later on, we'll think of it in even, in even more ways. But what do I mean by a part of a whole? So let's imagine that we have a pizza. I will do it in a pizza colored, so I'll do it in orange. I guess that's roughly the color of a pizza. A pizza, I guess, is yellow and kind of red for the tomato sauce, so yellow for the cheese. So let's say that this was a perfect circle. I'm going to try my best to draw a circle right over here. And let's say that I divide it into four equal parts. So just like that, I've divided it into two equal parts. And now I will divide it into four equal parts. So there's a total of four slices, four equal slices of this pizza four equal slices of this pizza. And let's say on three of the slices, I have cheese, only cheese, only, only cheese. And let's say on this, on this fourth slice, I have cheese and, I don't know, I have olives. I have olives right over here. So we can ask ourselves, what fraction of this pizza has olives on it? Well, we have four total slices. They all have, they're all equal slices. We have four equal sections here. And one of those equal sections has olives. So we could say one-fourth of this pizza, one-fourth of the pizza, the pizza has, has olives. Has olives. One out of the four. Now, if someone said, well, what fraction of this pizza only has cheese? Well, this fraction has cheese, but it also has olives, so we won't count that. But then we have one, two, three. Three fractions, three of these equal pieces have only cheese. So we could say three out of a total of four pieces of, so three-fourths of the pizza, of the pizza has only, only, only cheese. Let's do a couple more examples because this is probably one of the most important and most useful ideas that you can have in your brain. So let's do another, uh, another few examples. So this is where we sliced up a pizza. Let's imagine instead that we're looking at a, a, some, some animals of some, let's say fruit. Fruit is easier for me to draw. So let's say that I have, I have an orange. I have an orange, so that's an orange right over there. And I have a banana. I have a banana, so that's my best attempt at drawing a banana right over here. And I have a lemon. I have a lemon, just like that. And let's say that I have, I have an apple. I'll draw, I will draw, let's say, actually I'll draw an apple. It's a little bit of a strange color for an apple, but we'll go with it. So that is my apple right over there. And actually, let me draw one more. Let me draw, let me draw a grape, a grape, or grapes. So I have a bunch of grapes right over here. And if I were to ask you, at least the way that it is drawn, what fraction of my fruit that I have is, let's say, is yellow, is yellow? What fraction of my fruit as drawn is yellow? Well, we could say we have, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five pieces of fruit. So there's a total of five pieces of fruit. And then what fraction of, that, of those pieces of fruit are yellow? Well, I have two, the way I drew it, I have two yellow pieces right over here. So we'd say two-fifth of the fruit of the fruit is, and it's strange that I'm writing this in white, so I'll write it in yellow, is, is, yellow. Two-fifths is yellow. Let me do one more example to just really make the point clear. So let me draw a candy bar. And this is all food related. I guess it's getting close to dinner time. I apologize. So let's say I have a candy bar just like that. And let me divide it into, let me divide it into five equal pieces. One, two, three, four. That doesn't look too equal. So the whole point is to do it equal. One, two, three, four, that looks pretty cl close. So let's assume that these are equal pieces. So my drawing isn't perfect, but let's assume all of these pieces are equal and I'm hungry. So let's say that I eat, I eat this piece 
and I eat this piece. So they essentially go away. So what fraction of the pieces have I eaten? Well, I have a total of five pieces. There's a total of five equal sections of this candy bar, I guess I could say. And I ate two of them. So two fifths, two fifths of this bar. So this is, you know, I've literally, I've, I've taken them away. Two fifths of the bar have been eaten. Have been eaten. So I'll leave you there. Maybe I'll make another video that doesn't have as many food analogies. But this is a super useful concept, and I encourage you to think about this as much as possible and then try the exercises on Khan Academy.